children and welcome to a brand new video. Last week we looked at three in one, the holy trinity, and I hope that you found that really interesting. Today we're going to be looking at the four friends. Before we begin though, of course, we need to be doing some worship, we need to give everything that we have to God. We've got two special leaders with us today, they're going to be helping to lead the worship. If you would like the opportunity to get involved in filming a video to do with worship, then please do get in touch with me, um, get your parents to get in touch with the church and find my email and I would love to get you involved in all of this. So with that, it's time for us to begin. So get ready to worship, give it everything you've got. Let's go. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God Okay, so the reading from the Bible today is in Mark chapter 2. So it's in the New, New Testament section of the Bible and the second gospel, Matthew, Mark. So 
and in my Bible chapter 2 starts with the heading Jesus heals a paralytic a man who can't move his legs a few days later when Jesus again entered Capernaum the people heard that he had come home so many gathered that there was no room left not even outside the door and he preached the word to them some men came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four of them since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd they made an opening in the roof above Jesus and after digging through it lowered the mat the paralyzed man was lying on when Jesus saw their faith he said to the paralytic son your sins are forgiven now some teachers of the law were sitting there thinking to themselves why does this fellow talk like that he's blaspheming who can forgive sins but God alone immediately Jesus knew in his spirit that this is what they were thinking in their hearts and he said to them why are you thinking these things which is easier for me to say your sins are forgiven or to say get up take your mat and go home but that you may know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins he said to the paralytic I tell you get up take your mat and go home he got up took his mat and walked out in full view of all of them this amazed everyone and they praised God saying we have never seen anything like this wow what a beautiful story do you have some very special friends like these four in the story the ones that helped the crippled man this man was paralyzed that meant he couldn't do anything so they helped him to get to Jesus and remember Jesus said that they had a great faith and because of that the man's sins were forgiven and he was healed if his friends hadn't had so much faith that Jesus could heal this man then the crippled man would have stayed crippled and paralyzed for the rest of his life but the four faithful men the four faithful friends they stepped in and they helped you remember the memory verse that we have the one where it says about nothing is impossible for God isn't that incredible because of God because of Jesus the impossible happened this paralyzed man was healed isn't that exciting everyone go hey <laughs> I think it is so wonderful that we can read stories like this in the Bible. We can find out what it is truly like to be a good friend. Have faith, support your friends, and when someone needs that extra hand, you should do everything you can to help them. If they're poorly, maybe you could go and take them some food and drop it at the door and just say, here's some food for you. Maybe you can write a card to them and tell them how much they mean to you. Tell them that you are going to be there for them. There are so many different things that we can do to be really good friends. And the Bible teaches us that we should always be good friends, even to our enemies. Can you do that, children? Can you be good friends to those close to you and even to those that are not? Maybe if this is a time for you to think about really carefully what you could do for the people around you. So it's time for me to go, but now we've got a very wonderful craft done by our very own Serena. I hope you enjoy it. Hi children, my name is Serena and I am going to be leading today's craft of the day. Today's theme is four friends. Let's get started. Okay children, what you'll be needing for today's craft is one scissor, one coloured or plain white A4 paper, 
and some coloured pens. I've got some felt tips, some markers, anything to write down on your plain paper. Let's get stuck in. I thought this craft would be a great way to send four little postcards or notes to our friends during the season. Using our A4 white paper or coloured paper, make sure you have a plain side as this will be where we will write our message for our friends. I am going to fold the paper once and twice and it should look something like this. I will cut the folded lines. It should look something like this. One, two, three, four. So let's focus on an example I have made for one of my friends. I have wrote, to friend, I thought of you today, I hope you are okay, God loves you. Psalm 118 verse 24, each day and today is made by the Lord, from Serena. I used my coloured pens to make it look lovely, so let's get creative. examples. If you don't have any paper, you can use sticky notes. They work just as well. You can post it to your friend's letterbox whilst out on a walk or you can send it through to the post office with their address. Make sure you get a parent to help you. This craft is super easy and you can send more postcards or letters to your friends. It doesn't have to be four. Make sure to spread God's love this week in these notes and it's always great to add Bible verses too. I pray you have a blessed week, enjoy this craft and let's get creative. Right children, now for quiz time. First question, what is wrong with the man on the stretcher? He is paralysed, in other words, he can't walk. Second question, how do his friends get him through the crowd to see Jesus? They lower him through the roof. And the final question, what two things does Jesus do for the crippled man? He heals him of his sins and then heals his bodily needs so he makes it so he's able to walk. Let us pray. Focus on Jesus as I lead you in a prayer. Father God, Thank you for sending Jesus to us, to come and help us and lead us to you. And thank you, Holy Spirit, who showed us the way to Jesus. Father, give us the faith of those friends of the paralysed man who went to so much trouble to lower him through the ceiling so that they could leave him at Jesus' feet because they believed in faith that Jesus would heal him. And he did. Thank you, Jesus, for that example to us all of great faith. And not only did he heal him, he forgave his sin. And when we say sorry to Jesus, he forgives our sin too. And we can have a new start. Help us to have the faith to believe that our friends, when we shared Jesus with them, 
they will accept him. They will find him and they'll believe that they can be healed and helped by him. So we just thank you, Jesus, right now. And thank you for each other and how we want to grow more and more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, what a lovely prayer, Jeanette. Thank you for that. And thank you, wonderful children, for being a part of yet another wonderful lesson. We hope that you've learnt something new today and that God has really been a part of your lesson. We hope that you are blessed this week and you are able to keep safe and have lots of fun with your family and friends. And don't forget to give out those beautiful little postcards or cards or letters, whatever you've done, um, and give them out to your friends or family or neighbours and um, whatever you want to do. We look forward to hearing what you got up to. So with that, it's sadly time for us to go, but we will catch you next week for a brand new video. See you then. Bye.